Hi everybody, this is Anna Chaos for another Anna Chaos uh, fitness full day full of eating. Um, as you guys know, last week I pretty much started going back to the gym after having my, uh, my injury on my leg and on my back. It's just basic repetitive motion injury. But um, it was a pretty good start for me. I started working out one day a week. Excuse me, my nose itches. I'm sorry. Um, but I didn't do anything too outrageous. So I was pretty much doing lighter weight, higher reps versus doing heavier weight, less reps. So uh, if some of you guys have been following me, you know that I've also took out the extra cardio in the afternoon. I did a little bit of it to see how my body would take it and I decided against it. I also, instead of working out six days a week, I'm trying to do two days on, one day off, two days on, maybe two days off, just to see how my body's reacting. And so far, it's, so, it's going pretty good. Um, I still got a little bit of the pain, but definitely getting a lot better. I can I got the feeling back on my toe, which is really good. Um, I can actually, you know, stand and walk around. It does start, excuse me, hurting a little bit after a while, but I'm functional. I'm a functional person once again. Will I start running anytime soon? Probably not. I'm still going to keep babying my injury to make sure that it fully, like, heals up. But for right now, hey mama, so kitty, she's, she's nervous because of fireworks. It is 4th of July, so happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue uh, just working on my injuries. So this is pretty much, I did say I'm going to mainly switch to fish. Um, hopefully, I'm going to see how it goes for the first week or so. So this is pretty much going to be pretty consistent from Tuesday all the way to Friday. So I'm only going to do one video. Um, for the rest of the four days, see how it goes, and I'm going to go ahead and do an update next Saturday. So let me show you guys what I got. All right. So usually my same standards, if you guys seen before, I have the fiber powder. Believe it or not, my stomach still is not fully returned from taking the um, anti-inflammatories and taking the um, muscle relaxer, but it's gotten a lot better. My water intake has gone up as well. So I'm still keeping the fiber powder just to kind of help it along, but it's pretty much finally getting back to normal. I'm doing one BCAA, one prenatal, one biotin, uh, fish oil, and vitamin D. Uh, the prenatal, I have very low iron, and I actually went to donate blood this week. Unfortunately, there was a glitch in the computer which uh, impeded me from donating, but my iron is way better. Uh, I used to be like 11 point something, or sometimes it would be as low as 9, and it was 14 ever since I switched over to the prenatal one so I'm actually really happy with that progress the biotin is because I'm still trying to lean down and I'm eating a lower calorie intake I want to make sure that my hair doesn't fall out so biotin is really good for that it's also good for your nails fish oil well fish oil is just plain good for you and vitamin D I take such a high dosage because that's recommended by my doctor because I can do vitamin D depleted um, so this is for me you don't have to take it um and you technically don't have to take any supplements at all. But if you do have to take anything, I suggest only to have a fish oil or at least a multivitamin because there's only so much you can eat in a day and you cannot get all your nutritional value in one shot. So let's go ahead and go to my first meal. This is pretty much the first thing at 4 a.m. Just having a scoop of C4. This stuff is awesome. This is the lemon, the lemonade version, the pink lemonade. It's pretty cool. So I like this right here. This is not so bad. I did start a scene that Walmart started carrying a version of C4 and it's $10 cheaper. But I have to bring one of my jars so that way I can compare it or take a picture of the back to see why it's a $10 cheaper versus the one in the vitamin shop. Alright, so right there that's 5 calories. And then I go to the gym at around 5 a.m. and I work out for an hour. And then once I'm done with that and I shower, I go to the office. And between C4 and my first meal right here... Um, this is pretty much pretty standard. That's all. I'm having a hard time opening it. I should have opened it before. And I changed it up even even more. It is one cup of eight ounce, uh, excuse me, eight ounces worth of Greek yogurt. I'm having some fiber powder in here. I also have some flaxseed chai seed, a chai seed as well. But I'm doing raspberries versus strawberries or blueberries, and I'm only doing one fruit. Uh, at a time because later on I'm gonna have more fruit over there so I'm only trying to limit myself to two fruits per day so for the macros for the first meal is 323 for calories 51 carbs fat is 9 protein is 29 and sodium is 231 which is really not bad alright now this is my tilapia meal if you guys follow my Instagram you saw when I was cooking during the weekend I did a massive prep I ended up getting 10 meals, so this is about 6 ounces of tilapia with about a cup worth of asparagus with some lemon, cooked in virgin olive oil with some Mrs. Dash on it, so it's fantastic, I really look forward to it. And the main reason why I'm trying to eat um, 
eat asparagus, I've been following a lot of bikini competitors, and what I keep hearing a lot of them say is that uh, asparagus tends to be a natural diuretic, uh, which in my case is great because I'm usually kind of stuffed up because I eat a lot of protein, and apparently I wasn't drinking enough water, so any little bit that is not a pill, I welcome the help because I don't like taking pills, all right? So this right here is my fish prep, and then I just have about... I'm going to say about two ounces of this baby spinach with about an ounce of white onion, uh, yellow bell pepper, and several ounces of um, cherry tomatoes. And it's going to be eaten with the skinny girl balsamic vinaigrette. And like I mentioned before, the macros on this is awesome. It's zero fat, one carb, zero protein, 10 calories for two tablespoons. And I know that I mentioned this before. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but um, the way that I like to take my salads to work is I actually put them in the container the way they came. I do not rinse them out before I put them in the container because for whatever reason, it gets kind of slimy and I should have anybody else encountered that problem. So what I do, I go to work, I go to the water fountain, I get the really nice cold water, swish it around in there, clean it up, drain it, and then I put two tablespoons of my Skinny Girl and I put the lid on and I do like the old salad McShakers and then I shake it up with two tablespoons and it gets the dressing evenly everywhere. Uh, so that's a good trick if you've never tried that before. All right, now the macros between those two meals is 245 for calories, carbs is 25, fats is 6, and protein is 25. The sodium is only 190 calories, which is pretty bomb. All right, now that moves me to my 1 p.m. meal right here, and I've started eating again chunky light tuna. I had to take a breather because for a while there I ate so much tuna, I almost wanted to barf every time I even thought about tuna. But this is not bad. This is like about $2 for Wally World. And look at the macros on this. It's about three servings on this. Calories is 60. 25 cholesterol. Carbohydrates is zero. And protein is 13, which is not bad. So I'm eating this entire packet. So it's going to be around 39 grams of protein on this, which is pretty beast. Unfortunately, it is about you know 630 grams of sodium. But you know what? It happens. So whatever. And then I'm going to have that with only this time, instead of doing four servings of fiber one, I'm only doing one serving of fiber one. So this is about 25 grams of carbohydrates there. But again, it helps my body. And keep in mind, I'm drinking this with like about 100 grams of water per day. Um, so this right here, this is my one o'clock. So that's 240 calories, uh, 25 carbs, fats is three, uh, protein is 41, and sodium is 740. That mainly comes from the fish. All right, my next meal is at three o'clock. And that is mainly my fish prep. This is my tilapia. And except that I'm adding half a grapefruit, um, mainly trying to increase the fiber. And a grapefruit is known to be really good when you're trying to trim down because it's acidic. Uh, unlike orange juice or like regular oranges, oranges tend to be a lot of sugars. Uh, grapefruit is a better alternative. And yes, it's bitter, but if you can like bite the bullet, it actually makes your body feel a lot better. Uh, in the long run. I gotta be careful with it because my tummy sometimes doesn't like acidic stuff so I gotta be really watch out how much of this I eat. So I only do half a grapefruit. Um, so the macros for this right here is for my 3 o'clock is 157, 5 carbs, 6 fats, 23 protein, and believe it or not, 78 sodium. That is really, really low. Um, so yeah, actually it should be higher than that because of the fish, but you know, I'll, I'll double check mine so those on my fitness pal. My last meal is my usual protein shake, uh, two cups of almond milk, one tablespoon of PB fit, and two scoops of isopure. And that will put my macros for that at 295 for the calories, six for carbs, seven for fats, 55 for protein, and it puts my sodium at 715. So all in all, this is pretty much what my end uh, results are. Unfortunately, the calories are a little too low, especially since I started working out again, so I need to find a way to fix that, but again, I'm just kind of shocking my body into a different diet, so that way I keep it guessing. And after this weekend, I mean, I binge, I've had alcohol, but I mean, I still, I, I tracked everything no matter how bad it was. Uh, so I know my body the first day I'm going to be really heavy. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm back to like 165, 167 because I ate so much. But, you know, you never know. Today I kept my eating very, very controlled. I even had two burgers, believe it or not, my, my two gourmet burgers. Uh, with a good friend for 4th of July since I decided to stay in. So my total micros for the day is 1320 for my calories. I was aiming at least for 16, so i got to figure out what to do about that. My carbs are a little higher than what I want to, but they're not too bad. I ended up with 112 instead of 100. 
My fats is great. Um, my goal is not to go past 40. Actually, now it's 60, but I got it down to 33, which is awesome. Because uh, remember, I'm working out, so I'm still going to be tweaking these. And then my protein is a little bit low. My protein is at 184. I was hoping for 200. And my sodium is awesome. I'm trying to keep it below 2,000, and I ended up with 1954. Um, so, but yeah, so we'll see how we do uh, with this new diet for the week. And I know I'm going to be just absolutely drained throughout the day because I'm eating mainly fish. Uh, it's lower calorie intake. But as you can see, there's a lot of food in here. Like people don't believe me when I tell them that I eat all the time unless they work around me. So my, my coworkers call me the hobbit and then they're like, oh my God, you must have eaten like 3,000 calories. And I go, I was like, actually no, it's like 13, 14. And they're just like flabbergasted. And I was like, no, 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 it's because a lot of it is vegetable and low calorie type volume foods. So, you know, they look at me like, what the heck is volume foods? And I explain, they're like, oh, well, that's kind of smart. But yeah, so I'm just trying to continue to, to see what my body does. Um, like I said, I am not a competitor, but I really like to lean down. Uh, as you can see, my stomach there is not very flattering. I got loose skin. I'm not going to lie. But I mean, when you touch it right there, a lot of my friends are like, dude, that's like muscle. That's like all muscle right there. Uh, there's a little bit of flab up here, but you know what? I work real hard. This is the best that my body can be. And I also got to remind myself that abs are genetic. Not everybody's meant to have their abs show up. And that's something that I've been very frustrated with myself because I'm like, I really want to see my abs. But then in the back of my mind, I had to remind myself that there's a possibility that I'll probably never be able to see my abs because of genetics. And yes, I did have some surgeon assistant, but all he did was literally just push my abs together. He didn't enhance them. He didn't do anything to them. He just put them back together. So it's, this is going to be really interesting. I look forward to see what the results I get out of this. And like I said, my next video is probably going to be Saturday. It is currently Monday 4th of July of 2016. So I'll let you guys know how it's going. So just keep watching my social media and I'll let you guys know. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for joining me once again. Do not forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Pinterest. I'm also on uh Fitbit, MyFitnessPal, and Bodybuilder.com. And do not forget to check out my GoFundMe. If you cannot donate towards my cost, at least share my story. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you for taking the time to watch my video. You guys absolutely rock. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.